What is going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be working on training our shoulders, so the deltoids. We're gonna be working on the front, the side, and the rear deltoids in today's video, and we're gonna be working on strength. That means we're going to be using a range of dumbbells for this workout, and heavyweight dumbbells, in order to really stimulate growth. So if one of your goals is to build muscle mass, build some crazy 3D delt shoulders, or just build size and strength in your shoulders, then this workout is something that you wanna do. Just make sure that you've got weight loads that will challenge you, or you're not going to make any progress. So if it's too easy for you, it's not enough. It's time for you to level up and get some more weights. But if you don't have access to any weight loads other than what you've got currently, say they're lightweight dumbbells, then just work with that. But do not do a workout like this one. Go ahead and check through the channel. I'm gonna have a bunch of build and burn workouts. So that's what they're going to be labeled as. The rest periods for those will be shorter as opposed to this one. And those ones are going to be more focused on building uh, muscle and burning fat at the same time. So make sure to have fun with this one as always. We're gonna be building some boulder shoulders with this one. Let's have some fun, grab some water, get your warm up in. You already know how we do it over here. Let's crush this one, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all at the end. Okay, now that we're done with the warm up, you wanna grab a bench and set it into an inclined position. So you wanna set it as high as possible, as high as the inclined bench will let you. And then we're gonna complete some seated shoulder presses for three sets and 10 repetitions each. This is the first set right here, so we're gonna do three sets simultaneously before moving on to the next exercise. So I'm using a couple of 50 pound dumbbells here.
On to our next movement here. Next up, we've got some lean and rear delt flies. Now, this is great for hitting your rear deltoids, as you can tell from the name. And we're going to be completing 10 sets by 10 repetitions each. So you want to set your bench into an incline position enough so your back, when you're leaning forward, is almost at a 90 degree angle. And then you lift with your elbow. So drive with power from your elbows. That way you're really putting all the pressure on your rear delts and your upper traps. Something important to note is to make sure that your elbow bend remains the same throughout. So do not change it, say when you get up to the top and stretch it all the way out, maintain that bend and lift with power. With this, you want to make sure that you're also maintaining a straight and a neutral spine. So you, your back has to be straight. Do not hunch it, do not round it. Just keep it straight as you do this. After I get it, I reinvest. People wanna talk that talk in reality. You have not seen me in action. You think the come up comes overnight. You ain't behind the scenes. Trust me, these things don't just happen. No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy when you try to eat up producing and rapping. I read that contract you sent me to sign, but excuse me, I can't help myself. I'm just laughing. Hey, you try to cut out a piece of my pie, and I ask you politely, what's it that you offer me? Yeah, I produce all my own beats, and I have no intention of losing my publisher. Yeah, independent individual boy, I've been eating off passive residuals. Yeah, let's be professional. Thanks for your time. But I had to decline at that principle hey, I've been scheming up a plan hey, I've been saving all I can hey, You can call me David Rams hey, The way I handle these bands hey, We ain't messing with the old model oh, You are a new kid, we full throttle oh, Just know that the come up is not a flow My amigos, they focus, no one to do After I get it, I reinvest After I get it, I reinvest After I get it, I reinvest Yo, look, I ain't saying that I'm rich, cause if I'm honest, I have never been that rich, but when I look at all these other kids, I feel just a little bit ahead of Damn, you should know the business is competitive, there's a lot of people that I'm better than, even veterans ain't got the knowledge I do, I've been reinvesting all I ever spent, stop pretending like you popping, who been out here making profit, told my mama that I got this, I wonder if she noticed what my job is, I don't know how I'ma make it, but I know no matter what, I'm finna find a way, all my homies finna Okay, we're beginning to get somewhere here. So our next one here is a lot of volume. So alternated seated front raises, three sets by 20 repetitions. So 60 reps in total, but it's 30 per arm if you really want to get technical. 50 pounds is what I'm using. So a pair of 25 pound dumbbells for my first set. And then I'm going to progressively overload as I move on. So with this one, you want to make sure that you're lifting the dumbbells all the way till around your shoulder height before resisting the dumbbell on the way down. So make sure that you're alternating each time and make sure that when one arm is all the way up, the other one is all the way down. So do not fight your way through it. Just pace yourself and try not to swing your entire body. So hold it in place, your upper body right there and make sure that your front deltoids are doing the bulk of the work. <laughs>
Yeah, I can never doubt myself, I know better. All of you critics be acting like you know better. Blowing the smoke, but I know when it just settles. So I'm in my element, it's evident that there's levels to the game. All of those dark nights I got then breaking my back to make it out, got me feeling like pain. I ain't never need your help, I know you wishing me well. A penny for your thoughts, but seeing no change. I snap for the sun like Diddy. The riches got a mad ass son, I'm like Billy. I ain't never switch up, whole team with me. Putting on for my city like OAGZ. Set the pace as long as you finish. Consumers find a way inside your business. Fabulous, they try to dabble in it, and they hate the fact that they may have to win. Fourth movement, we're going to be doing some single rear flies. Three sets by 20 repetitions, so 10 reps per arm. With this one, you want to also set the bench into an incline position until you can lean forward till your upper body is almost forming a 90 degree angle with the ground. So once you've got that going on, you want to make sure that you're not swinging too much. So find a nice stance, use a wide stance. That way you're able to really prevent your body from moving. And you can always use one of your arms to hold uh, and stop your body from moving or tilting towards the opposite direction of the force. So make sure that you guys are also maintaining a straight back throughout as usual and not rounding or hunching your back.
To round things up for this shoulder workout, we're going to be hitting some lateral raises. This movement is great for hitting your front and your side deltoids as a kind of combo workout, as well as your traps. So make sure that you guys are lifting and performing this one correctly. First, you want to make sure that you're tilting your upper body slightly forward to keep that pressure on your shoulders. And when you lift, you maintain a slight bend in your elbows throughout. And you lift so you're working your side and your front deltoids. You got to feel it there or you're not really doing anything. You also want to make sure that you're not lifting past your shoulder height with this one. And also maintain or hold a straight back throughout. Because I'm back in my zone now.
your money, you can pay me in respect. Once I do it big, what's the follow? It's a check. I need a hundred bags, nothing more, nothing less. And the ops feel away, cause I'm next. I'm a threat. Oh, yeah. Don't really care what it cost them, you don't wanna cost them My lifestyle awesome, couldn't decide if my guy wanted